Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, this is just a short video. Uh, we heard the news about uh, the filthy Erdogan, the savage, filthy member of a crime organization called Muslim Brotherhood. He announced for sure by using his fake judges to transform one of our great churches into a mosque. Now all of us we knew that those the Turkish Ottoman they don't belong to that land. All this land is our land. And it's just a matter of time and we will take it back. It took us more than two thousand years or maybe less to take Jerusalem back. A thousand four hundred will not take longer. I see a big earthquake coming to Turkey, a big disaster, economic disaster, a physical earthquake. This country is doomed. And today, because it is uh, Aya Sophia Day, I announce that I give three of my books for free. One is in Malay language, the second is in Russian, and the third is an Albanian language. And this is in memory of our beloved church, Hagia Sophia. We will have it back, it's just a matter of time. And those who took it, they will be so sorry. History cannot be forgiven. Criminals, they shall pay. Erdogan is going to go to the garbage of his own country. And actually, I saw a lot of comment, even from uh, Turkish people, who they are very upset and they are afraid of the consequence of this decision. But for me, I see some positive things in this decision. European, they were so stupid for long. And now they can see that Turkey cannot join the European Union ever. So if the price is a building, in order to save Europe, that's good. However, the building will come back. We will take it back. Please inform your friends about my books. I have the links to download. Those are for free, not for sale. My book in Russian, Albanian, and Malay language. Uh, download. And actually more books is going to be posted soon already now we have many books translated in many languages and we are covering hundreds of and hundreds of millions actually a translation we have right now it cover at least maybe more than a half billion a human being uh, additional to the english for sure and uh, french so maybe soon we can reach more than a billion reader so please tell your friends download the video uh, download the links and you can share them in your own uh, gmail drive because this link will not uh, continue uh, so download the file <clears throat> my voice is not good really i, I apologize uh, so download the link uh, download the, the books and please download them in all languages if you are going to post this video in your own page not only the language you are interested in. So if you are Russian, we need help from the Russian people to tell their friends, those who speak Russian, to post in all Russian pages. This is a priceless book given to you as a gift for free. If you are Albanian, and Albanian majority are Muslims, this is a priceless book for those who speak Albanian. So Albanian people, they might say the truth, and they will be set free. Uh, and uh, if you are a person who speaks the Malay language from Malaysia, well, we have it for you, and now you have it for free. So, uh, <clears throat> no, I'm not sick, I'm not sick. I'm just I don't know, upset of what happened. Uh, this person, Erdogan, is at the fifth of this earth, and he will pay. He will pay badly. God is watching. Uh, they can take a church, and by the way, this is not the first time they do this, you know. 
all the huge mosques in the Middle East that used to be churches after they conquered by the savage ISIS during the time of Muhammad and after all those beautiful churches those Muslims they do not know how to build they have no idea even how to build a room if you see anywhere in the Middle East a huge mosque you should know right away this is used to be a church and Hagia Sophia is just an example of many crimes they committed against us through the history but God is good and those who will you know uh, you know who do these crimes they will pay and Turkey is going to pay uh, you know but I'm very disappointed from someone like Trump this potato he is so strong just to say anything to support Israel when it's come to a church we did not hear anything from him not even a tweet what a shameful person I'm disappointed of all those who call themselves a Christian leaders I was expecting them to do sanctions even to do even more way more but we will see time will tell what will happen I want to say thank you for all uh, your support for sure you know when I give my books for free doesn't mean I'm rich I'm absolutely not uh, but for me I prefer uh, little income to survive and just you know to do what I need to do uh, way more better than making money and selling just books and making more money this is why we give the books for free <clears throat> and uh, if you are from you know from uh, Malaysia now you can download the book for free you do not create, need to read it in Indonesian language we have it in Indonesian already, two books, and now we have the Russian and the Albanian. But I want, uh, I want everyone to help us to spread the links, uh, especially those who speak Russian, because many here they are Indonesian. So I'm not worried about the Malay language will be, you know, spread all over. But if you are a person who speak Russian or have any connection with Russian people, please. Download the Russian and the Albanian and uh, share uh, the books with your friends. Soon we will have more books to be ready and uh, we will go from there. And actually, you know, like uh, I want to go back to translating the uh, translation of the Quran because, as we know, the Quran translation which we have is really horrible and not even a single honest translation we can find. So I hope we will be able to finish it soon and uh, will be available for people to yeah it's going to be in English for sure uh, so please share share the links download the the, the books and uh, post them in your own gmail uh, drive or g drive it's for free I mean the g drive and then post them again in your YouTube because those will not continue in this account for long all right you are a prophet for Indonesia. I am no one, my friend. Prophet is a big name. I don't deserve it. And, uh, you know, we are just people who do. Uh, you know, we do what we need to do. Right? Um, many people, they are Christian by names. Uh, yeah, actually, we have the Polish book. Uh, but uh, I need to do some adjustment. And soon we will publish the Polish book soon too, in for free. The Polish book will be published maybe in the coming 24 hours or 48 hours. All right. Uh, how many of you here is uh, speak Russian? Do we have any people speak Russian? Do we have any people speak Russian? If, if you speak Russian, please don't forget to download the video. Uh, I mean the, the book and share uh, Serbian well my friend okay uh, I don't I mean I you see for me I don't speak languages I mean the only languages I speak is Arabic and English so all those books is by the help of the good ones if you are a Serbian person who will translate it help us you know what I mean 
it's not me really people they have to offer their work what I can do more I mean I am not a president I am not a king I am not uh, I'm no one uh, this is the maximum I can do All right uh, Yeah, if you can, if you can, uh, you know, translate, let me know. Indonesian version, please. Indonesian version is already there. The Indonesian is already there. You know, there's many, they have it already. Maybe some admins who speak Indonesian language, they can post, uh, sound tired. No, no, I'm fine, you know. <clears throat> I was just upset from the news. This guy is very disgusting, you know, but this is this is how they do. They are like hyena. You know, the hyena, they come in a time where people are busy. Trump is busy with the stupid Democrat, Republican, you know, police, you know, coronavirus. So they took advantage. Everybody is busy so they can play. But actually, this is, will be a great opportunity starting from Israel. If the Muslims can take Hagia Sophia and they can uh, praise Allah and they are like making it victory for it, they have it already anyway. Why we cannot take Al-Aqsa? Netanyahu, if he is a man, he should announce immediately that Al-Aqsa is not a mosque. Never was a mosque, actually. This is not a mosque. The first time the Muslim entered the land, it was 600 years after Christ. So how that building became a mosque the same exactly as Hagia Sophia this is a Jewish temple the Mohammedan they converted into a mosque history repeat itself but what happened that now the Israeli they have the upper hand and if they are brave enough they should take it and make it back as a temple for the Jews and later it's going to be a Christian church it's just a matter of time uh, I will go live later well I am live already <laughs> and as you see my voice is tired so I'm not going to stay long <clears throat> uh, anyway uh, and again I remind people that you know I'm not a rich person to give my books for free but it's an act of a Christian person who prefer to give his books to help as many he can even though all of us we need money nobody don't need money and I'm sure all of you understand that. So we always, we are thankful for those who support us by donation because, you know, uh, one of the reasons we can give it for free is because of the donation of people who they are helping us. So I want to say thank you for everybody. And, uh, you know, we hope soon we will do more and more and more. Yeah. And by the way, the women... The one I told you I want to talk to her and her family that day I could not really make her accept Christ but we spoke again and now she became a Christian uh, what is left that uh, the whole family need to get baptism and uh, I hope soon uh, you know we are contacting some friends to take them to church and give them some education about uh, the Bible before they uh, take the baptism because you know we are not like uh, just the Muslims they do Shahada and that's it you have to fully understand and believe in Christ and then uh, you 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 get baptized so I'm happy for this family the whole family actually now we have the husband the children and the wife all of them they accepted Christ and the wife was very stubborn because she is a daughter of someone you know supposedly he is a big sheikh um, me myself I do not know them I mean I, I don't ask for private information for their safety uh, but she was very stubborn and uh, uh, she was resisting as much as they can you know but no I don't I, I, I never saw mostly most of people who leave Islam you know I just speak to them in the in Skype I don't see them I don't meet them uh, because we do our work in the internet but we have a friends they will they will help actually this is not the first time we have uh, 
someone who uh, uh, like uh, from a family of a big sheikh if you remember when I went to Germany I went to the house of uh, Amir uh, friends you know and there we met with the uh, with the women she is a daughter of a big leader uh, and her, her brother sorry her brother is a big leader in Hezbollah in Lebanon and uh, as I know she accepted Christ so this is not the first time we have people who they are coming from a ver very supposedly religious and even terrorist family they accept the Christ and they became Christians so we are happy for them anyway I'm not going to keep you long guys please download the videos download the, the, the books upload them again in your uh, uh, G Drive and please if you are Russian please post everywhere the book in Russian language if you are Albanian you know Russian and Albanian they need this is badly because already we have tons of videos translated to the Indonesian language and as I understand my life people they understand Indonesian language uh, it's very close however we have the Malay language too book which is in the info you can download it and share it and I want to say thank you for all those who give us the help to translate just to mention that none of them took a penny I don't even know them those who made those files and those who translated the books I appreciate them however the Lord he see you and the Lord he will reward you I don't know you you do not know me but we appreciate you all right so whoever speak Russian I see somebody posting a Russian I think so if you don't mind take the Russian book and share it with all your friends as much as you can uh, you know they are trying to fool Russian people too uh, Muslims are building uh, uh, you know big organization especially the Muslim Brotherhood in Asia in Russia and etc trying to fool European people read my comment about Abu Mustafa who was Abu Mustafa my friend another duck we have too many Abu Mustafa all of them are potatoes uh, <clears throat> oh he's a Christian oh okay he speaks Russian all right well I don't know him you can contact him if you know him so you he's a he's a Christian his name is Abu Mustafa what is he's a next Muslim all right I don't know the person however if you know him my friend or what we need somebody to spread the book around tell his friends make videos about it you know and those those books uh, I do not need to tell you I mean m most of you you have the books already it's priceless you know if someone wanna uh, my books is enough to give you a PhD in Islam easy actually already I have many people requested to use my book for their master degree and PhD so uh, those books are priceless took a lot of work and uh, you know especially you know writing uh, uh, you know uh, in English it's not my language you know it's not easy to write in a language that's not yours uh, so we need your help uh, and more books will come you know uh, and actually today I was driving my car I was thinking to make a book about list of churches the Muhammadan they stole from us and they converted those churches into mosque maybe we should do that I didn't have any book in Arabic and there is a reason I did not do any book in Arabic because you know we have a great uh, Christians doing great work in Arabic we have TV stations the Arab they speak Arabic already which make it very easy access for them to learn and to find out the truth uh, this is why I uh, I decide to do my videos in English because this is the language uh, you know I speak for sure additional to my native language which is the Arabic uh, but you know one oh, first time I opened my computer using the internet 
you know I notice how much the Muslims are trying to dominate the internet uh, and actually there was a program called the uh, pal talk every day almost they have a person converting to Islam regardless if it's true or not some of them are true some of them are not so you know I saw that there is a short and, and like nobody is doing the job those Western they have no idea what Islam is about uh, the that was famous because the Christians simply they go to church they learn nothing in the church about attacking Christianity how to refute them and this is why the that he, he looked like he is a, a person who can easy win a debate because he was debating people who have no idea what Islam is about uh, so you know thanks thanks to the Lord you know we were able to uh, make a huge difference in English and for sure in Arabic too uh, to make a revolution where people used to know nothing about Islam and now they knew a lot right uh, I think any one of you now can do in debate Muslims even without me uh, but you know still there is way more information to share and there are so that's the pain I don't know what does that mean Stephanos it will be good life and there I don't know what does that mean anyway uh, my video is going viral in TikTok you can post videos in TikTok I don't know that I thought TikTok is just to go live there my videos are long so how you can can you post in TikTok and you know for me just to tell you I don't like those uh, uh, chat uh, programs but you know if they can serve uh, the mission why not Uh, in Chinese language well I tried actually I once I asked a Chinese person to translate he asked me for a lot of money you know he uh, he wanted <laughs> I mean he gave me up I think this guy he thought maybe I'm like a billionaire or something yeah and you know for me I will I will uh, if I get the book in Chinese I will post it for free too right Um, we tried you know as many as we can and this is the language we were able to be successful there is many people they say they want to translate but you know it's not an easy job sometimes people they get excited in a moment and then later they find that this is not really not easy um, uh, Steve, you can contact me in Patreon and we can see. Well, my friend, they have the church for long and nothing changed. The difference is, uh, you know, this is very sad news. At the same time, it's very good news. Because now we can take Al-Aqsa Mosque. Netanyahu can announce easy now. That this is not a mosque, the same as they did to Hagia Sophia, they did to that temple. This is a Jewish temple. So why they can take a church? And everybody knows this is a church. Even look, the picture of Christ and Mary is there, still until now. And they destroy most of the icons in the church. So if they can, will we can too? And maybe soon, God knows, we will take the Kaaba. You know. Uh, we will not we will not forget and we will take it back it's just a matter of time you know the Muslim they, they thought they took Jerusalem and that said Jerusalem nobody can have it back and we have it back the Muslim they took all of Spain all of Spain for hundreds of years and they thought nobody can take it back and we took it back they took Romania they took Bulgaria they took they took they took and then we have it back it's just a matter of time all right uh, 
and in the in the in the, in the top of that you know Turkey inside is collapsing as Islam. Erdogan is a coward. He's trying to win the coming election, hoping that doing this will help him. In fact, it's not going to help. I believe that Turkey will suffer from the consequence of such a decision. Number one, they will not be ever be qualified to join European Union because everyone noticed that this is a religious state and the conditions of European Union not to be dominated by religion rulers. This is religion rulers, not secular. And that will disqualify them. This will save Europe from the evil of uh, the Ottoman uh, agenda. Uh, in the top of that, uh, Turkey is very weak as a country. And today I was driving actually, and I heard the news and suddenly I felt like there's an earthquake happening in Turkey. I don't know if it's me being angry, but I saw a little vision in my eyes that there is a huge earthquake in Turkey and things is upside down. I believe God punished the criminals for their crimes and they will pay. Uh, I can translate the book, please send from English to Russian. We have it already in Russian, my friend. But if you can translate, maybe you can translate the other book, which is Quran and Science, into Russian. All right? Contact me, uh, Ad, uh, Adam. Contact me in Patreon. Anyone think he can translate? And remember, you translate, we don't pay you. It's for free. Because at the end of the day, we are going to share it for free. Now soon, in a few days, maybe maybe tomorrow, if I have time or the day after, I will publish uh, my book uh, in the Polish language. And again, it's for free. So now we will be in the last month publishing uh, actually many books in many languages. And the most important Actually, all of them are important. I mean, all people are important. You know, we care for Russian the same as we care for Indonesian and people of Malay and etc. So we care for everybody. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you know, for me, I do I do my best. You see, I'm not a leader of a country. I cannot. Nobody hear my voice except here. I mean, my little voice. Uh, I hope it's making a difference for for many and around the world. But this is the maximum I can do, what I can do. I mean, give my books for free, making videos, shouting, screaming, debating, exposing them. What I can do more. You know what I mean? So, yeah, actually, uh, if you if you click at the uh, at the link, Lisa, she is posting. Um, this uh, this website is not my website, but it carry my web my name. But this is not my official website. Um, so you know. Anyway, we do we do we do our best, and uh, I'm really happy that I was able to be uh, successful to reach. You know, I mean, we we reach everywhere. I never thought when I started you know, a small chat room. And, uh, you know, actually, when I started, nobody even would listen. You know, people, they come to the chat room, say, oh, you are, uh, you know, you, you are dividing people. Oh, you are teaching hate. Why am I teaching hate? I'm sharing the truth. This is what Islam did, and this is what Islam is about. And look, in the, in the year 2020, with no shame, they took a church and they launched immediately a prayer inside the church, an insult to all the Christians around the world. So this is the faith of Islam and nothing new. We witnessed this for a thousand and four hundred years. Go and see what happened to the Egyptian Christians, the Iraqi. All you know, do you, do you ask yourself what happened to the Christians in this, in this country? I mean, this country, the whole country was a Christian. What happened? The majority are slaughtered, the women being enslaved, 
and the rest they run away now we have in Turkey less maybe than 2% what happened to the Christians this is how wonderful Islam is right Do you think Turkey will attack Armenia along with Azerbaijan? You see, you know, for me, I believe that many countries in, in East of Europe, Christian countries, are doing a huge mistake. And I will tell you what the mistake is. As an example, Greece. Greece, an Orthodox Church country. Armenia is an Orthodox Church country. Ukraine is an Orthodox Church country. Romania, Bulgaria. Right now, all of them in the pocket of the NATO, and the NATO will never protect them. They use them, and they will never protect them. Look what happened in Cyprus. Turkey occupied half of Cyprus, and the NATO, they were watching. So I believe that those countries are making a very stupid decision by taking the wrong friends. The only friend can protect those Christian countries is the Russian, not America. Americans don't have a friends, sadly. They care only for business and money. Look at this potato Trump. Just because he had a business in Turkey, he did not open his mouth, not even for a second. Just because he had many towers in Turkey, he's worried about his money there. He is a coward and he is a fraud as the rest. The only country those countries can take to protect them is the Russian. And sadly, you know, those countries are being stupid. Greece is part of the NATO. <laughs> and you can cry as much as you can. Greece, nobody will hear you. Ukraine, they thought by joining the, the West, they would be rich. They are desperately poor. There's, there's no jobs, there's no money, there's nothing but corruption. And this is what happened when you friend USA against the Russian. You see, those people, they are denying their history and their her and heritage. Both they speak the same language, both they have the same religion, both even they have the same ethnic, but yet, they were able to divide them, divide and conquer. And all of them now is easy for a country like Turkey to take, to take down. So the Armenian, I don't know what is their situation now. If they are taking side with the Russian, I don't think the, the Turkish will dare to get close to them. But if they think that America will protect them, eh, good luck with that. Right? Good luck with that. People don't like the Russian regime. Who cares about the regime, my friend? This is not about regime. This is about taking the right friend. The Russian, they never betray their friends. Never. Look what happened in Syria. This guy is not even a Christian. He's their friend. They fought with him. And until now, they are protecting him. Your friends... is when you try them, you know them. Russia have a military base in Armenia? Okay, that's good. Because, you know, uh, what, what uh, Turkey do, they take advantage of those small Christian countries around them, and they are divided, they are not united, and they can conquer them easy, you know. And the NATO is just a joke. I mean, the NATO is not really, it's a business, you know. Uh, as long we are doing good with each other, like making money, etc., do whatever you want. You know, you know. Look, look. Turkey now is going, sending their army to Libya. What, what Europe doing? Nothing. Taking over the Mediterranean. Nothing. What Italy did? Nothing. France. What Trump did? Trump did not even open his mouth. You know, and you know, this is the funny thing about uh, in USA. We have. Either we vote for Trump, who obviously a businessman, he don't care. He don't have a dignity of a Christian man. He's a businessman. Uh, or we vote for people who they are antichrist. A portion and all kind of madness. So 
when the coming election happened, I'm going to vote for Trump. Not because he's good, but he is the best between the ugly, let us say. You know what I mean? Uh, CP, I do not know if the whole Christians lovers are planning to help you. I don't know what they mean, Mr. Tedros. Yeah, but anyway, you know, for us, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't depend on others in, in our our protection. The Lord is our protector, and when you know, after all what happened in the Middle East. Look how the glory of the Lord function, how it work. Right now, we have a huge wave of people converting to Christianity. Salah had been, it was the one who took Jerusalem from the Christians before Israel took it back. The people of Salah had been the Kurdish, he's a Kurdish. They are coming to Christ like waves. You believe it? So things is a changing. Islam is collapsing, and Erdogan, I believe, is going to collapse. But this coward, he think by doing this, he will earn, uh, like it, it might help him to win the election. I think what will happen is the opposite, and I think after the liberals win the election, they will put the church back as a, as. You see, they did not even give it to us as a church before. They make it a museum. It's a shame. Uh, people go with their shoes, taking pictures, no respect. You know, it's like a, it's like you know, people go with their short and crazy stuff. But because you know, the Muslims are the one in charge. However, I believe Erdogan is temporarily person, and Turkey will change so soon. And the most important thing what will happen in Turkey is the price of the currency. Just watch what will happen, how the economy will collapse. The reason until now Turkey is not collapsing is because of the stupid Trump and the support of Qatar. At the end of the day, it's Trump. He is the one who can make Turkey collapse and Erdogan collapse in one day. But this idiot, he is just busy. He, he, all what he cares for how to be elected again. However, I hope after he gets elected, which is in a few months from now, he will be a different person. And I believe that Trump, after the election, he will be a different person. The reason for that, that's it. This is the last election. He have nothing to worry about after that. And we will see what he will do. Uh, Yeah, well, you know, the crusade we are doing, we are doing a crusade right now as we speak, fighting Islam, exposing it, more and more people join us, exposing this cult. So our crusade is a peaceful crusade. However, you know, their aggression is going to go back on them sooner or later. Right? Uh, if we have any Albanian here, please don't forget to download the book and share it with your friends in Facebook. If you have, uh, I don't know how many of you are experts with the internet like Facebook. So if you can download the books, uh, you know, Albanian, Russian, uh, the Malay, the Indonesian, etc. And share them wherever you can. Right? Help us. How many Christian population in Saudi Arabia? I don't know really. I mean, there is many people converted, but nobody there. Even Saudi Arabia is changing, you know, like uh, things will change. I think Saudi Arabia in 20 years from now will be totally different. And I will not be surprised if the prince of Saudi Arabia, he, he will be the first one to open a church in Saudi Arabia. I think this is going to happen soon. Uh, a lot of things are changing, uh, and I believe there is many reasoning. I mean, many reasons to believe in this to happen. My voice is low. 
Um, I don't know, my voice is fine. I mean, I did not change anything from my side, maybe from your side. Any question, guys? So how many of you will promise me to download those books and share them in other drive? How many of you are we going to help? Albanian, Russian, Malay language? How many here they speak Malay language? The link is there, download it please. Could you do show with Somali Christian TV? I mean, it's a Somali Christian TV, what I would do with them. You know what I mean? I don't know. How you can download it? Just to click at the link. The link is there in the info. The links of the three books in Malay and Russian and Albanian, they are in the info. Just to click at the info down the video and you will see it. If you are using your phone, I don't know that if that will work in the phone, but it should work. You know, my books is not about Quran and Hafs. No, my Quran, my books is more, more deep than this garbage. I mean, who care about Hafs and stupidity? You know, I, I do not, I don't really like to waste my time. You see those uh, debate about Hafs and other things. I, I believe it. It's like a luxury. You know what I mean? It's like a, you know, would not make a difference much, but when you hit the head of the snake, which what they believe today. That is what is important. So my book destroy the head of the snake. All right. I don't waste my time with with things. You see, I never make. I usually I don't make videos about Quran corrupted. I mean, why I want to do that? Give me a reason. Because corrupted Quran or not, still I have to fight the Quran. Muslims will not believe it, so you're wasting your time. I mean, we can make a video two, three, four, but it should not be the major topic. Additional to that, how you can corrupt what is corrupt already? I mean, this is false book. You know, hit what they believe in, and then they will leave Islam anyway. You know what I mean? Well, you know, Russia sold uh, uh, Turkey missiles, but those missiles are useless. Good for the Russian, actually. You see, this is, uh, you see, many people, they think that the Russian are uh, selling weapons to Turkey. In fact, they are not. Maybe people do not understand what's happening. The 400 missiles, Turkey cannot use them without permission of Turkey, of, of Russia, number one. Number two. Each time the Turkish they turn on their radar, the Russian they have all the information. Number three, the 400 is useless compared to what the Russian have. Number four, they took their money and they give them nothing but the trash. Because in you know, by the time they receive them, by the time they have them, by the time they will use them, and obviously they will never use them, they will become a piece of trash. So Russia are a very smart country and they know what they are doing. I mean, he's going to use the 400 against who? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? The Russian, they sold in the 400. Okay, we use it against who? Do he dare to attack Israel? No. Against who? Useless. It's just a, it's just a bribe, you know, a bribe. Can you make translation to Hindi? Well, you know, supposedly there's somebody contact me and he said he will do. We will see. Are you sad? Uh, you know, uh, yeah, about what this announcement. Uh, but I'm okay. You see, there is many countries they buy weapon from important countries, not because they are going to use them. Let us say, it's a security plan, which means I buy from you, so don't hit me. If you remember, the Turkish uh, uh, army hit a Russian airplane. And right after the Turkish, they start kissing the shoes of the Russian 
asking for forgiveness and the only way is buying and spending a lot of money using the money of Qatar I don't know ask the Greek people you know I don't know the priests in, in, in Greece are as busy giving their hands to be kissed you see this is what I don't like I, I don't like to speak uh, you know against priests but uh, most of those traditional priests they are just doing a job you know taking a salary eating nice food like Muhammad you know they are not there really each one he thinks he's a king in his church like he, all what he care for is the, is the building he is in they are not active people we need a revolutionary in our churches and actually this is what we are doing you notice here how many times I fight against Christians fighting each other Catholic Protestant Orthodox how many times that is a revolutionary they divide us so they can conquer us actually Hagia Sophia is conquered because of the division. When the West, the West ignored the East and the East Empire was an Orthodox. Just because they are Orthodox, they let them die. This is what happened. This is the truth. If they send help, this will never happen. So through centuries, you know, we are trying to teach those ignorant who call themselves Christians. Enough is enough. All of you, you believe in Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior. This guy, he have a picture. Like, I mean, if you if you look at the at what they are fighting about, it's hilarious. And this is the result. The enemy of Christ, they are taking our churches. They are busy, like, just say, just say Orthodox Catholic, right away, they are fire. Say Turkey, they are asleep, nobody. We did not hear anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is why we Christians, we need to fight the corruption of those priests. They are the enemy of Christ. Many of them, not all of them, but many of them, they are the enemy of Christ. They brought to our life nothing but division, so the enemy of Christ can conquer right for me i never ask anyone what church you go to i ask him what you believe i don't care what church who is your savior what is his name do you believe in the father the son the holy spirit i believe okay do you believe that jesus is coming back yes believe in his crucifixion yes no, he's a christian i don't care about the church name but you know there is people who they are silly and they want to do business and business for them is what is they are about you know this is why if you are a smart christian anyone if you are an orthodox anyone you attack the catholic in front of you tell him to shut up vice versa or a protestant be smart don't be stupid we don't care for the pope we don't care if you are Protestant priest, no, those names don't count for us. Here we go. What happened to this pope? He have a big mouth. He talk about everything. They took the church. Is is not there? I oh, did not hear from him. What happened? He's taking a nap. <laughs> He's busy talking about. We need to accept more refugee. Accept more refugee. Accept more refugee. That's the only thing you know. Talk about. They are big names, but they are useless. They are not serving the Lord. I know Turkey in bad position. Actually, Turkey in a very horrible position. Very horrible. And actually, Turkish, I saw the comment in uh, in Twitter. Turkish are really afraid of the consequence of what happened. Because their economy already is collapsing. And actually... Uh, Erdogan he think that this is will make him maybe win the election because the news came very ba bad about uh, 
his uh, you know future yeah <clears throat> Uh, what time normally you sleep? I don't have really a time. I sleep when I get tired. I'm a person who cannot sleep unless I'm really tired. I have to be like, my battery is off. So if I go to bed and yet my battery is not off, then no sleep. <laughs> Not like some people. Some people, you put them in the chair, they, they sleep right away. They are lucky, you know, like they go in a bus, they sleep. They go in train, they go sleep. They go in an airplane, they sleep right away. For me, I can stay, uh, you know, when I when I drove just, uh, what, 10 days ago? I drove almost 16 hours, non-stop. You know what non-stop? I, I, I stopped just for the gas. 16 hours. And I did not feel asleep. I arrived, I did not sleep right away. You know, it took me after those 16 hours driving, maybe three hours after that to sleep. Take a shower, make some salad. I don't like to eat when I am uh, out. I don't trust, I don't like food of you know, stores and, you know, those things you go and buy garbage. So I stay without food all the trip, mostly. No, I never been there. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, please again uh, tell your friends, download the the books, and I will try tomorrow if I can go uh, live on air. I hope my voice will be better, and we depend on you to spread the books with your friends especially those who speak the languages the russian and the albanian and the malay and again soon maybe tomorrow or the day after i will publish the book which is in polish language again for free this way we will have many books in the last 30 days published totally for free all right and again we are publishing for free not because i'm rich but you know making people know the truth more important than making money however it doesn't mean we do not need money and we appreciate those who support us and they help us with their donation i want to say thank you all for being here i will make some tea because my voice is not good uh, uh, and i'm really uh, hoping that all of us we as a christians we stop asking questions about what the name of the church you go to. A really Christian is someone he asks, who is your God? Not what the name of the church. As simple as that. I hope that we as a Christians, we will stop being foolish. I can disagree with my brother in Christ, but still I love him, and I believe he's a Christian. If he's a Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox, that will not change the fact that this person, his Savior, is a Christ. He believes in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, so he is a Christian. And the book, the Bible, gave us only one name, Christians. There's nothing called Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. So if you are a person really who you believe there is someone better than Christ to give yourself a name, which is a Christian, then go ahead and choose that name. I will not call myself any name. Even when I made a nickname, I said, I am a Christian prince. For I am a prince by the King of Kings. So if you are a person really who loves Christ, you should never use any other name except a Christian. Forget about Orthodox. You can be Orthodox, but when people ask you what's your belief, you say, I'm a Christian. Christian, the name of Christ there. 
you are a follower of Christ, not of a patriarch or the Pope or a Protestant priest. We follow no man, no man, no name. The Bible says clearly there is only one master, that is a Christ. We have no other master. Anyone follow other names, give himself other names, he don't deserve a Christ because you choose to forget his name. You choose to take a name and have nothing to do with him. Christ never mentioned those names, never taught us to be like them or one of them. He says, whoever believe in me and die will live, whoever. Doesn't matter what ethnic, what doesn't matter what color, he's black, he's white, he's Asian, who care? Whoever believe in me. So be united, otherwise the hyena will rip you off a piece, piece by piece. And this is actually what they did through the history. The hyena was all around you. And the Bible was right. They were like sheep between the wolves. But being a sheep doesn't mean I'm going to let the wolf eat me. Actually, if you if you watch uh, videos about how the wolf they attack, uh, you will see three, four wolves attacking a big numbers of sheep. But if those sheep they gather together, they can fight the wolves easy, and actually they can kill them. But when you are a coward, you are a sheep, literally. The Lord, he wanted us to be sheep as peaceful, loving, friendly, but not cowards. He was not. He never feared death. All his disciples never feared death. They are our heroes. Uh, you're welcome, my friend. If you speak Albanian, please don't forget to share the link with your friend. And not only that, download the book and put it in your G drive and share it with your friends in your language. All right. Well, I don't know about who is going to take action, but I think people, they have to do something. You know, you can contact, I don't know what countries you live in. If you are a Russian person, ask Putin, where are you? What happened? Where is the patriarch of Moscow? As I know, he's a wonderful man. Right? Now they know what's happening. We will see. Uh, but remember, always we are going. We always we are victorious. They have the building already for hundreds of years. Nothing changed. But what they did today is a big expose to the cult of Islam. And now Jerusalem can be taken all of it. Not only Jerusalem, all what is called Palestinian territory. For this is not a Palestinian territory. If they can take Hagia Sophia, why the Jews cannot take Al-Aqsa, which is a temple? You see, this is exactly what happened. They converted the church into a mosque, Hagia Sophia. The same as Al-Aqsa. This is, was a temple of the Jews. Take it back. They are taking what ours. We are not taking what they are. They, are, they, they, are, they don't own it. They don't own Jerusalem. They don't belong to Jerusalem. They are occupation. The same as the Ottoman, they don't belong to the whole city there. The whole country there is not their country. And we should take it back. But God is good. And we will have it. You know, sometimes you might think, oh, yeah, that's gone, you know, how we can take it. Trust me, my friend, history, history taught a lot. Many countries disappear from the map. When when the coming war is going to happen, it's going to be huge and big. And there's a lot of things will change. A lot of things. Uh, what I think about the plague? Eh, I think those plagues always happen, nothing new. What is new is that today we have media and will terrify you more than the plague it itself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Plague always exists. 
people die because of disease always exist but now because of the media I mean they scale the hell of you and not only that you know they blame somebody for like uh, like when when uh, corona came uh, the Muhammad and they were happy it attacked China but then spread between Muslims like fire in China and now actually the plague in China it's called the Black Death is a spread in a territory called Noor which means light this is a Muslim territory the Black Death this is what they call it in English uh, but you know all, all of those things happen always but today the media is controlling everything I mean you go on the street there is a sign everywhere in the highway everywhere and then you know, you go to the store, you find a long line because why? They don't want many people inside the store in the same time. But they are lining them up next to each other outside. <laughs> I mean, human being is so stupid, so dumb. You know, like I went to Home Depot and they have a long line. And I told the lady outside, I said, I said why we cannot get in and why you close the other doors? Now, all of us, we are here. There's many doors. She said, because we need to know how many people are inside. I said, okay, but look how many people are outside now and they are close to each other. <laughs> so what the benefit of this garbage? Stupidity is amazing, you know? Nothing can stop this disease unless a human being protect himself. Nothing, nothing can stop it. You know, you have to buy grocery, you have to go, you open your mail, you know, it's impossible to stop it. Either it die by itself or they find a medicine for it. Otherwise, this is all this garbage. <clears throat> uh, and not only that, you know, like they, they close the country. Nobody can go anywhere. My neighbors are very friendly people. So because now their country is closed, Everybody have a friends coming to visit. <laughs> so now the country is supposed to shut down. Like this, we don't go to work no more. That's it, because we want to spread the virus, you know? Yeah. And then what we have, we have barbecue. Now, what we can say? Human being is funny. I know, like, and the other day I saw now how women, they are kissing each other. You know, women, they always, they, when they meet each other, they are like, kiss each other. Now, because of Corona, they do this Mwah! from far away. Mwah! Oh, okay. <laughs> and then after that, they walk next to each other, shoulder to shoulder. So now you did not kiss her, but you are next to her. I mean, what the difference? This virus can go in the air. So what, what exactly you did, you know? Eh, human being. Right? Human being is funny. Uh, anyway, uh, I, to I told you 30 minutes ago I'm leaving. And you guys look what you did. My voice is gone. And now I'm staying here. And I told you I'm leaving already. So now I will say I'm leaving again. I will stay another 30 minutes. I hate you, all of you. Anyway, uh, I'm glad that uh, many of you learned. You know, like I wanted to go live in the morning. But I wanted today to be remembered that the day they took our church is the day I published my books for free. This is was my, my gift to Aya Sophia, and we will take you back. It's just a matter of time. I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you, and until we see you soon again, I will try to go live on, on air tomorrow. Until then, Christ is Lord, and we lose our rights if we don't ask for it. Are you going to stop asking for it? I will not. I'm a Christian prince, and time will come, and people will remember that I never stopped fighting for the truth, giving my life, doing everything I can, and the truth is the Messiah, the Christ. Nothing but his name can save us. Muslims need him before us, for they are the one is misleaded. Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. This is the one who can save you. And if Turkey can think, or Muslim think, 
by taking a building you overcome Christianity you are dreaming it's just a building and the same we defeated your evil in Spain the same we defeated your evil in Jerusalem the same we did in Greece in Romania Bulgaria and many many other countries the Ottoman aggression will be defeated again history always repeats itself and the one who live by the sword by the sword will die the Lord said thank you God bless you and don't forget to download the video share the books before we take it down take care